It's the Platinum Queen in the light blue has the advantage. White Lavender could appear in second and third place. It's the Platinum Queen. I think she's just done it. Unbelievable scenes, as I'm sure you were, as I'm sure you all saw on TV. She kind of deserved that after running so admirably in the Nunthorpe and been so buccaneeringly campaigned all season, you know, we hadn't spared her, so she absolutely deserved to get her head in front in one of the biggest meetings of the year in Europe. There's plenty of people very happy, especially with the syndicates, they, they could, I'm not sure how many there is, but there's a lot of them. You're making an awful lot of people happy, so uh, you feel like you're achieving something and helping the sport. We purchased the Platinum Queen from the Tattersall's Guineas uh, Breeze Up Sale this year. Uh, I believe she was the fastest filly or the fastest horse to go up the rolling mile that particular day. And she's kind of proved just how fast she really was. Um, no, we did, obviously didn't think she'd be the Platinum Queen. We thought she would be a useful filly who might might take us to some nice races. But for her to go and, and achieve what she's achieved, second in a Group 1, second in a Group 2 and winning a Group 1, um, she, she's it far exceeded our expectations for 57,000 guineas. She seems exceptional value right now, doesn't she? And they're away, and the Platinum Queen got a good start. The first Goodwood in the particular was uh, just, I think that was the day she really announced herself to the world. We saw it at York in her second novice, but at Goodwood she performed on the biggest stage, Trillium broke the course record, and an hour later we go and we, we go and beat it. And the Platinum Queen is pulling right away in very impressive style now. She's she was a short price favourite, so there's, there's plenty of people at Glorious Goodwood who had shillings on her that day, and um, the reception she received from owners and from the public alike down there, it was, it was a very, very special day. Heading over to the Breeders' Cup with her, obviously we're competing on the world stage now, aren't we? And we, we are going into the Americans' backyard, but um, look, we're not one to shirk a challenge. Um, us Brits, are we? We love to go and take on the world's best. That's, that's what we pride ourselves on here with British racing, isn't it? That we have the best stock, that we have the best trainers, we have the best horses, and that's what we hope to go over there and try our very best to prove that um, the Platinum Queen is indeed the best five and a half furlong or five furlong two-year-old out there. Breeders' Cup has always been mentioned, and it sounds silly if she got beat in the, in, in the Abbey, I probably wouldn't be going to the Breeders' Cup because you're carrying a Group 1 penalty into a three-year-old career. It's tough enough for sprinters. So uh, she came out of um, Longchamp in great order. Um, she's very tough, very genuine, naturally quick, so we, we've decided to give it a go. We've been extremely fortunate to da dance at other big dances, really. Royal Ascot, uh, the Ebor Festival, um, we've gone to Glorious Goodwood, we've gone to the Prix de l'Arc Triomphe meeting. It, she's, she's not missed a single single beat and it's testament to a filly, but um, I think most of our owners haven't missed a beat as well. They've supported her thoroughly. Their sole passion is horse racing. They live the game, they breathe the game, and this is their experience. This is them living out their, their fantasy. You know, some people play FIFA and will never get to be a footballer, whereas people who get involved with us, they, they can go and experience playing against Lionel Messi, you know, you're competing against the world's very best on a daily basis and horses like the Platinum Queen are just testimony to that really, that you don't need a King's Ransom, you can do this on a working man or a working person's wage, that you can compete on the world stage and um, it's the greatest game in the world for being able to do that.